Hey, Randy Hunter here from BeginningSax.com and RandyHunterJazz.VHX.TV. I wanted to take just a minute and tell you a little bit about my new lesson that I have in my new series called Sound and Style. And this lesson is called Soloing with Style. So, you know, you may be familiar already with my Stage 1 lesson series where I have jazz, sound, and style. So we've got lots of sound, and style, all that sort of stuff. But, you know, I really don't think you can get too involved in sound and style. So, remember, this new series is called Sound and Style. And this new lesson is called Soloing with Style. Now, this lesson is based on my solo, my interpretation, my solo on a the soloing on tunes lessons that I that I have on but not for me on the introductory solo that I performed on that one of my um, subscribers Fred transcribed my solo on that and I was really grooved by the fact that he had transcribed my solo and he sent me an email wanting to know about the juice that we put on things when we play so I thought you know I would take the transcription and that he did and I would just put together a lesson on the things that I like to use when I solo so you know these are some commonplace things that are available to uh, to us as jazz saxophone players you know things with the articulation the way the notes are played uh, special effects achieved through alternate fingerings bends scoops vibrato um, a whole wide array of things that kind of um, just appear in my playing as I go along. You know, after many years of studying the way that different guys, uh, different players play things, you know, this is just kind of what I come up with when I play. So let's take a moment and we're just going to watch a brief little clip from, uh, from the lesson. And then if you're interested, remember, you can either get the lesson, you can either purchase it at beginningsax.com along with the Sound and Style series. Um, which will hopefully be developing in the coming months, maybe even years. You know, we'll see how this goes. And uh, also, you can subscribe at randyhunterjazz.vhx.tv for access to all of my lessons. Okay, so dig this. The techniques that I like to use to um, create the sound and the style of the music. You know, these are different depending on the tune and the style of the tune you're playing on. For instance, if I were playing a rock tune or a, or a funk tune or even a bebop tune, I might have additional inflections that I would use. A lot of these inflections are generally, uh, a lot of the ones that we're going to discuss here in association with this solo, transport over to different styles, but it's how you use them, maybe the speed that you use them at, just uh, everything about the way you speak the music, you know, about the way you tell your story. So um, let's just quickly discuss some of these techniques. Now, a lot of these techniques combine the breath, the embouchure, the articulation, and even fingerings in, uh, in association with, um, you know, with things like bends, um, scoops, those sorts of things. You'll hear a lot of bends in this, um, in this solo, both bends going into notes there I'm using like a biz key B flat sliding into a, a B natural and I think I do that pretty quickly in the solo like maybe in the second bar now the the bend is again it's a combination of the fingering the throat but it's also the air because a lot of times I like to put a little extra push when I'm going into and the articulation, I'm doing like a thwop kind of articulation. That's a pretty weird word, I know, but I'm trying to think of another word that might describe it better. I can't really think of a word, but it's like blah, blah. So the tongue is pulling off of the reed. It's a release articulation. And, you know, if uh, I, uh, I like to cross-reference lessons. If you want to learn more about some of these jazz articulation techniques, be sure to check out the Advanced Jazz Articulation series because that's a, that's a series I'm working on right now. And um, I'm trying to cover lots of different techniques for articulation, but this thwop kind of sound is blah, blah. So I'm releasing the tongue, I'm pushing the air, the throat's doing an upward scoop, and, uh, and the fingers sliding off of uh, maybe a half step below whatever the tone is. In this case, it's a B flat to a B. So there, you don't really hear a clear. 
It's not that, it's... And there you hear some vibrato. Now, the vibrato...